Devil Tales. <laughs> Hello and salutations, friends. My name is Revel the Jester, and I'm here to share with you a multitude of fantastic stories. Hallow's Eve is nearly upon us. While it may be a time of merriment and laughter for most, it is also a time where true monsters and ghastly horrors take rise into the world of man. Here is one of many tales I must share with you on such an occasion. Sit back and hear the tale of the harvest. My word, it is so good of you to come, O Reaper of the Plowlands, and with your family to boot. The king will be very pleased, announced the Chamberlain of Leather Castle. Yar the farmer looked over his shoulder at the two enormous plume knights following him and his daughters before directing his attention back to the esteemed servant of the king. I didn't really have much of a choice, now did I? He responded in detest. The servant smiled devilishly as he backed away swiftly and gestured his hands to the interior of the castle. With a grunt, Yar wrapped his arms around both of his daughter's shoulders and nudged them to step forward along with him. Claire, Lena, stay close to me, understand? Yes, father, replied Claire the eldest, as Lena the youngest folded her arms and pouted in disapproval. Upon entering the castle, the young children looked up in awe at the enormous halls. It's like we never left the outdoors, whispered Claire as she marveled at the grooved tree trunk pillars on either side of her and her family, as well as multiple colored leaves covering the entirety of the ground. Before long, Jan and his daughters arrived at the royal banquet table. From beginning to end, it was filled with sumptuous helpings of delicious food. A beautiful woman with golden hair, wearing a blue velvet dress, turned to meet their gaze and smiled slightly as she grabbed hold of a napkin and folded it upon her lap. My liege, announced the Chamberlain with a bow. The Reaper of the Plowlands has finally arrived. From the head of the table, an elderly man dressed in a red tailcoat and a black cape with a bat's head pauldron on his shoulder, raised a glass of dark red wine. Welcome, House of Yaw. Please, please take a seat, the king exclaimed. Yaw stared angrily at the king as he approached the table before seating himself in his daughters. It has been quite some time, Yaw, spoke the king. Why, I remember when your father. Don't you dare speak of him! shouted Yar in rage as he interrupted the king and slammed a fist upon the table. Claire and Lena gasped in unison. Seldom had they seen their father act in such a way. The king lowered his glass as Yar continued. He was a great man worthy of respect, and all his life you manipulated him and your country. I know the creature that you are, King Varag. Most believe that your kind is but a mere myth, but my father's final words ring out to me still, even after all these years. King Varag smiled at Yaw in derision. Enlighten me. Just what were they? He inquired with a scoff. Varug's words glisten like sterling silver to his countrymen. He promises greatness to those beneath him, but in reality, each and every one of them is but his playthings for his amusement. Beware his call, for if you enter the threshold of his stronghold, thou shalt not return alive. A deafening silence filled the room as King Varog stood up and folded his arms. Chamberlain, he called to his servant with a stern face, or the exit sealed. I believe I will start the harvest with this one. Yes, my lord, 
The Plume Knights lie in wait on all levels to serve you. On your mark, the Chamberlain replied. Let us begin, uttered King Varog. Without warning, the lights of the Great Hall grew dim, and the royal banquet table turned to glow red with arcane sigils of malice. Whispers surrounded the air around the king and his guests as they stood up from the table. Grabbing hold of his daughters, Yaw backed away and watched as King Varag became surrounded in a shroud of black mist. Run, run, do what you will. A harvest begins, my eternal thrill. <laughs>